A devastating outbreak of locusts is spreading across parts of Africa, threatening millions of people with hunger. Fear, fear it a lot, because it has never happened ever since we, we came to this place. It is the first of a kind, and it is so terrifying. The insects are traveling in huge swarms that can be as big as some major cities, sometimes about 1.5 times the size of New York City. Just think of a swarm that covers Manhattan from the south up to the north. That swarm in one day can eat the same amount of food as the entire population of Kenya. Locusts have destroyed crops in Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, and have now made their way to Sudan. These are places that are already extremely vulnerable to famine. There are 13 million people in the affected countries, Ethiopia, Kenya, Somalia, who are severely food insecure now. 10 million of those people are in the places affected by the locusts. But what is a locust swarm and how does it start? To understand this, we have to look closely at the insect's body color and its behavior. This is a locust egg. In about five months or less, it matures into a flying adult. If the insect grows up light brown, it tends to live alone and doesn't create much trouble for humans and crops. But if there are heavy rains and cyclones, often seen as favorable conditions for locusts, they change color to yellow. It is these yellow locusts that form swarms. Scientists call this process gregorization. Within hours of crowding together, a chemical in their body called serotonin causes them to move rapidly, become hungrier, and develop a more varied appetite. And that's exactly what happened here. Experts say a prolonged period of wet weather, including several rare cyclones that struck eastern Africa and the Arabian Peninsula over the last 18 months, led to the locust outbreak that we are witnessing today. But it's not over yet. In East Africa, more rains in the coming weeks will create a suitable breeding ground for the locusts. Officials say the number of overall locusts should grow up to 500 times by June, when drier weather begins. These are worrying prospects. Unless we get a grip of this in the next two or three or four weeks, we're worried we're going to have a, a really, really serious problem. But the locust outbreak isn't limited to East Africa. Swarms in Pakistan have damaged crops, including wheat and cotton. Millions of locusts invaded farms in Saudi Arabia and Yemen. The UN has said $76 million is needed immediately to curb this outbreak. The swarms can be sprayed with insecticide from planes, and experts say the best tactic is to spray the locusts before the gregorization process. But it may not be that easy. Most countries in East Africa facing this crisis do not have the resources, while in some other countries, political instability makes containing the swarms difficult. 